Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to another Palia video. And the lure is changed into her work wardrobe outfit because um, today I will show you in a hopefully a fun packed video about all the new goodies we got. I wanted to show you in this video what I can do with it and hopefully it gives you ideas to do something fun with it in your own plots. So my idea is today is to use everything from the new pack in different ideas. And I made a lot, so I hope you will enjoy. So we will be using all the new um, summer fever, spring fever, sorry, spring fever line, and of course the beautiful flowers we have. And uh, I am excited to show you because oh, I uh, I've been very busy. So well, where shall we start? I think uh, Rockbird needs a visit, so let's go to him first. And then uh, go from there. Well, this entrance you've seen, but I will still show you what you can do with flowers. And I love this, I still love it. Oh, make ponds with the carpets and then put flowers and the little chop, put your blocks around it with trees. And you have a beautiful entrance to your plot. And yeah, sorry, there's behind me a spoiler. But uh, yeah, I, I love this. Entrances are such a big thing. You know, it's, they are so important for your plot. Because it's the first thing you see. First impressions. And then let's go to Frogbird. Because here I used many of the plants as well. You've seen in my last video. Hi Frogbird, how you doing? I gave him a little light. It looks like little fireflies, so he can stare at them forever. But I just want to show you here what you can do with flowers. You don't need them to put them in gardens, but you can also put them indoors. You can use them in your house. I've seen people do that, and it makes it look like more a witchy, a magical kind of uh, ambience. But here, I, I, try, I think I tried the same here, not a witchy. Such a magical ambience, a bit froggy. And I'm here trying out some trellis ideas for a border, a fence. But I thought let's show you so you can also maybe get some ideas. So I used uh, these with the arch trellis. And I did a double one, but I think a single one will look nice too. But the idea will be like I will make a fence that way. Put some mini tree in it and some flowers and you can't really go through it. Well, you can if you try really hard. And here I made another idea. So I'm not sure yet how this garden will look because it's still clean. But this will be more like the work garden of my sanctum. So um, yeah, I'm trying here. But at the other side, I made something else. So this is more a formal plot. So that's what I wanted to do more. Uh, cohesive styles. It will is more symmetrical. Can I flower? Uh, yes, I can water you. So need to water my plants. I want my seeds. Give me, give me. I don't think I I feed them enough water yet. Oh, there's another one. Hello. So, oh god, sorry, got distracted. Sorry, sorry. Oh, and you saw something already. Yes, trellises. Many, many of them. Let me show you the, f the top view. So I made garden rooms. To split up my garden and make sections, I did garden rooms. So here is the more formal... My phoenix shrine is here, so I thought it needs a more formal garden room. And here I have my zen garden. And um, you will see they have very different styles. Let me go out of here and here and make a walkway in the garden and I uh, need to finish this up but I hit the uh, flower cap so I need to change some things up. I removed my seedling garden at the other side so I now have room but here I created a little sitting area with the uh, bench tree 
some flowers. It's really simple, but it's uh, it's pretty. And then here with the ember born, I made a symmetrical frame for my house. I think I like it. Yes, I know. We no no not yet in not yet. And here a little pathway because it's you know it simulates pathway up to the mountain to Bulgari, Bulgari, Bulgari and Bulgari. And I um, made a trellis. You know to to su suggest here's my chest. And it frames it. You can put lots lots of things in this uh, arch. Mirrors, the small fountain for the bellflower fits in. Just try it. a chair. Oh, get crazy. But here you see the backside of the garden trellis. So I made like a garden fence. And I did the same at that side. But let me. Well, which one's first? So yeah, we go in here first. The bold one. So what you think? It's um, it's colorful, very colorful, but I like it. The blue, the blue pops against the orange and the red. In the middle as well, big flow tree. And then at the side, I have my entrance here to my shrine. What I still need to um, still need to make. So the basics are in. I, I wanted the benches here, but now I had to have to dress it. But that's for another day. I run out of uh, time and I think that's a fun video to make. But the garden, the trellises, I, um, I rotated them. One uh, click or whatever, what you use. To make arch and 22 of the trellises make a perfect arch. Uh, but that's a lot of wood. And the small fever lights fit in between it so it also creates a nice uh, extra border because there was a gap here and now um, you know it's lighted up and uh, yeah it looks pretty and between the hydrangea I also hit some short lamps and I did the same here to create more ambience and more lighting in the dark big trees oh, this is so and then let's go to the Zen Garden. It has a total different vibe. Go over the bridge. Are the babies here? Ah, nope, the babies are here. So this is a pond garden, a Zen Garden. And my babies are the focal points. There's the birdie, my watcher and my fox. And they are surrounded by a secluded garden. A peaceful one. You can hear the birds sing, right? <laughs> and I made ponds here again. I love making ponds. And this was the idea that because you have the little bridge here over the um, koi pond, I thought let's try to create a bigger pond. So I used the Dragon Tide um, works because they're kind of the same shade of blue. And uh, it, you know, it's, it gives the idea that it's a moon-shaped garden. Uh, sorry, pond with flowers, in the purples and pinks and blues, like the more the colder tones, the whites, little bit of course of the grim tails, the cat tails, and then simulating a pathway until we get the real one. And then in the middle is the watcher, and he drops my baggies for my trees. And at the back, I created a fence with the trellis, the oak tree, and a flower in it. The gardenia. So it makes it a secluded garden. A garden room. And I kept this side open because I like the view behind it. And if that area ever opens up, you can see through it. And there's a Bambi looking. Hey, do you have my, do you have a plushie? <laughs> oh, everyone has plushie fever. And here I uh, made a backdrop for my birdie. So two different gardens with the same idea with the trellis as a border. 
and just play with it. I, l I like the flat ones, but you can use the other ones. But the flat ones had the white f uh, color, so I used them because, you know, the trees have white stems. And I wanted a more zenny, chill garden than, you know. It's the bright one. And the trellises. No, these are not trellises. And the golas are blue. They like the color pop as well. I hope this gives you ideas on how to decorate. And back here we have a little garden area. And I think I will make my medicine garden here. I'm not sure. It, it's a little open room. I don't mind. It, it can work. I don't need a lot of room. And here maybe some sitting areas. I'm not sure yet, but... As it is now, I already like it, only the fountain is not dressed. Maybe I will remove it. And that's the this plot. I think we will go to the next plot. The woodland one, the Chapa Scouts. I move this from my main plot. And this is more a, what I said, woodland kind of build plot. So I created a entrance again here, but a uh, more woody one. Is that a word? With the... Uh, where is it? Oh, oh, I want that one. The wood edging. And then some rock. Rock stack thingies. And a nice border. With the lights. And different sized trees. And I need more trees. I need way more trees. So I need to chop more trees. And in the middle is my focus point. My centerpiece, like when you're in Disney, you see... I don't know. Mickey Mouse. Uh, greeting you. And then you have walk around to the Chapa Scout Clubhouse. And then to the sides. I'm not sure yet what there will be. But that's fun ideas to work with. And then back here I created a little area. By using the fire pit. And a... Nice sitting area where we can make marshmallows and sing songs. Let me sit with them and uh, tell spooky stories. It's midday, but so not the really best time. So yeah, and uh, oh yeah, I, I use the pedals, the rock etching as pedals. I'm not sure yet what else to do with. It. I've seen people make pathways with them, but. That will count towards your um, 3k cap, of course. So I'm a bit more careful. Because I'm not sure yet how much room I will need for this area. So the Chapa Scouts. Lovely woody entrance. Maybe I will do less items. Because it's kind of cluttered. More, it's more cottagey at the moment. But I will work on that. But I just want to give you an idea what to do with the spruce trees. And uh, the edging. And it's not settled. <gasps> oh. No, this is not a symmetrical caravan. Let's go to my home plot. My uh, moon life go because I did mostly. Well, yeah, well. Oh, itch. This is my entrance. There's a lot to see. It's so different from when I left it. So I removed the chopper club from there because. I ran out of room. <laughs> I outgrown a one plot on everything. Everything on one plot. But let's talk about the entrance. So you can see I uh, matured the beautiful juniper trees up. And like this they make a heart shape. They curve in so nice. And I used a lot of flowers here. I did not reach my flower cap yet. But I don't know. Maybe it's bigger? I have no idea. Anyway, I made little flower beds to hide the dirt. And I did that by putting the flowers first and then do the tree on top of it. And you can also use the leaf piles if you have them. But let's talk about this first. This is my entrance um, well, pond. I used stepping stone idea to go to the front door 
And then lots and lots of flowers. And I used the big bellflower carpet in the short color to create a pond idea. Lots of little hidden lighting. And I used a capital chic coffee table as stepping stone up. Because they're also round, I thought they will fit nice. And I used the coffee tables and the stools to do stepping stones. And then just lots of flowers. And because, you know, the, the carpets have a little gap, gap, I put a butcher block in the blue color underneath it. Yeah, it's not a river, it's not a pond, I know. But uh, we don't have that option here yet, so... You need to be creative and I think this is a really nice way of giving the idea that there is a pond here. I love this. I wish I could have more of this but um, yeah that will eat my cap up really fast. I have no idea what I've left and I need to dress some rooms so but I've been procrastinating on that. <laughs> this was more important. And here, my beautiful garden entrance. With the windmill mixed in with the trellises. Uh, no, those are not trellises. Pegolas. To create a, well, a border. And underneath is also a pond. The little fountain is an idea that, you know, it pumps up the water from the pond into my own little pond. And then it runs all around underneath the trellises, uh, pergolas, to here. And then I have a little area here where, where I can work. Leaf burning. And then here's a little bin with the leaves in it. They can see through. It's really nice. The wheelbarrow. Wash my hands. A little outside Ooh. room. Because of the use of the trellis at, at the side. Don't you like it? Just love it. And there's a little bridge here. The two benches and those coffee tables to come over. I really like it. And then I have my cottagey garden here. It's not done. But uh, yeah, I like it. Like the tree. You know, with the uh, wash line. And then... I split my garden up because it was one big area. I here have a little sitting area underneath a big tree. And the wheelbarrow matches so good with the uh, leaf pile. And I have some saplings in there. You could put things in there. Small things. So, you know, ideas. And then I have here a little seat maker room. And the medium string light fits perfectly between the legs of the pergola pergola and um, yeah some flowers around it and then here I did a nice little corner with flowers and the chapa I can chill in my wheelbarrow I hang I hung up some uh, shovels it's like you can grab something to go work in the garden. And then here's my work garden. I made borders with flowers. And I broke the garden up in two pieces. A well with flowers, a sitting area. And I uh, framed it a little like with the small trees at the back. Like a little fence. And here I framed my outside kitchen with flowers. So it's nice and green. And on this side I made my money maker. My uh, surface jars are also in a pergola. With a little eating area next to it. A standing one because I forgot the chairs. <laughs> So here you see just, you know, little flowers around something, a tree or the edges or behind something. You can make a little, you know, a little pop of color at my outhouse because, you know, that smells terrible. So this hopefully disguises the smell. Here we did the same with the tree. Go to my uh, lovely outside garden and uh, I use the 
chimneya as a outside uh, heater because it can get chilly at night and let me uh, t talk to you about some tips so a few tips are make split the area up like I did here you know divide them up and like I did at the other garden with my Zen and my Phoenix Shrine garden I split them up and make garden rooms. Making garden rooms also gives your plot some life, some personality, like I did here with the entrance, or what I did with the gardens and the shrines, to make them look unique. And make pathways, make very clear where you need to walk, instead of just open areas. You can use edges, you can use flowers, trees, the pergolas, the trellises, just small small saplings. Just be creative. You can use whatever. Of course the fences. You can still use those. <laughs> I don't, but uh, yeah, you can. And um, use color. Color is so important. And, you know, the flowers as well give a, a certain vibe. If you want a formal garden, don't use the, the really, um, you know, messy flowers. But the more structural ones like the gardenia and the, the hydrangea. And use the same flowers gives it more a modern look. With, uh, at the back some trees and to give the cottage look just use everything through each other everywhere like my main plot it has lots of flowers everywhere to make it look more cottagey and lighting is also very important in the garden because it gives the right ambience and like indoors, you uh, you will light that up as well, right? So light the outdoors up as well makes such an impact. And like I said in the beginning, entrances to plots are, or to rooms in your garden are so important. What an entrance needs, it needs lighting, it needs framing, and it needs a focus point. So here at my main plot, the focus point is the door to my plot, to my house. It is... It's, you know, the, the, tr the tree is curved around it and it draws your eye into that. But then when you look at the sides, you see the focus point is the little arch underneath the windmill. So, you know, oh, I need to go there. And at my other plot, the focus point, when you enter, is the tree in the middle on the courtyard. And then you see the garden next to it. And at the Phoenix Shrine, the focus point is my flow tree in the middle. It draws your eye in. And at my sand garden, it's the little... What's the name? The garden, yeah, guardian in the middle. And of course, in the Frogbert uh, shrine, is Froggy himself. He is the focus point. And you know what I love? The ponds. The pond ideas are such a... You know, it gives such a nice ambience to an area. You can just, just use one pond, one little carpet to make a pond. I did not do that yet, but I will in the big in the future. But for now, I wanted to create dramatic big ponds. And um, I've been buying a lot of them at second stores. I hope my garden ideas helped you, give you inspiration. And some ideas on how to do, how to use the different kinds of new furniture we have. And also, you know, if you have your own ideas, like, man, I did this with my gardens. I've seen people be so creative with the new items. I love it. I knew people made wedding areas and they make art with flowers. Pixel art, as you can call it. So guys, I hope you liked my video, all the ideas I showed you, and if you did, please leave me a like. And if you're new to my channel, I am Anne, I, this is my character Anna Laura, and I do weekly, I try to do weekly build videos, or just show you what I'm up to. 
and I really adore it. And I will leave you here at my f at the moment's favorite spot at the gardens. My nice pathway towards my house. And uh, I hope I gave you a lot of inspiration. And um, let me know in the comments what you think. And I will see you in the next one. I will bow. See you later people. I love you. See you next time. Bye bye.